Hello everybody, welcome to another video on Career Solutions by Ashna Jain. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing about 7 pertinent skills that you need to thrive in a law firm internship. Now, these are not any skills out of the box or that's something that you may not have ever heard of. This is something very basic, but it, we tend to forget these skills. So, in order to bring those skills back into our conscious memory, I've compiled this video for you. So, without further ado, let's get started into the video. Now, the first skill, of course, is about how to research through databases such as Manupatra and SEC online. You cannot continue to rely on Google search for you to give out answers to the associates till you back it up with some proper case law research done through Manupatra and the case law citations given therein. You will not be able to make a very good impression. Moving ahead, second skill is to operate how is to know how to operate websites. Those websites could be very different for different practice areas. For example, MCA website for a general corporate team, SEBI website for a capital markets team, RBI website for a banking and finance team, then NCLT websites for or the NCLAT website for the IBC team or say, you know, the high court website or the Supreme Court website for a dispute resolution team, right? So if you continue to struggle with these websites in your internships and you know and you don't have any prior experience on how to handle them and operate them, you're going to be having a very negative impression on the associates of the law firm. Now, the third skill here is about drafting an email. Now, these emails, if you're a long term intern, it could even be for an internal communication within the team. Or even if you're a short term intern, intern, just to send an email to the associate who's given you the work, right? Now, that email has various components. The structure and clarity in the body of the email should be there. The subject line should be proper and should be according to the standards of that particular law firm. If you deviate from that or if your email is very unclear or it's very unprofessionally drafted, you're going to again have a very negative impression on the associates of the law firm moving ahead is of course you know proofreading and reviewing the documents now it is a myth that runs amongst all amongst all students and even i was a part of this myth you know while i was in law school that if we get to do only proofreading and reviewing we are not really contributing anything major in the firm and that internship is going to waste but trust me once i became an associate did i realize that if somebody actually proofreads and reviews the document properly for you it saves so many hours for the associate and they can quickly wrap the work around that assignment right so definitely they're going to trust you more in future and they're going to rely on you for even greater responsibility if you do it properly right now moving ahead is next is of course about communication now communication comes in handy at two places first is of course you know while you are making a presentation a lot of law firms require interns to make presentations on their last day of internships so if you're not able to present everything nicely if you don't have the required oratory skills you don't have structure and clarity of thought while you're presenting your argument in front of somebody or while you're answering questions that are being asked of you uh, again the impression is going to be really negative and also sometimes the associates uh, ask you to say when you're given any work as an intern you are asked to summarize that work in front of a very senior partner uh, another senior associate of the firm or generally just an associate right so if you are able to put down everything in a proper format but not able to relay that in front of somebody who wants to know what is your research about they are not going to like it and they are going to uh, think that you know you haven't put in the required effort right so definitely work on your communication skills as well and lastly of course uh, you know it's about taking notes in the internship now uh, sometimes when you're a long-term intern or sometimes even while you're just a normal short-term intern as well partners or senior associates take you along in the negotiations and they expect out of you that everything that is happening in that meeting whether it's a normal negotiation or generally another normal meeting they want you to note down everything that has happened in the meeting every point that was discussed and if you're not aware in the moment you're just whiling away your time you're not paying attention in the meeting definitely that's going to come across as very negatively in front of the person who took you along in that meeting and even after the meeting you're supposed to uh, sometimes summarize in front of the other listeners of the team that what happened in the meeting and sometimes even incorporate the changes that were brought through or discussed through in the meeting in the subsequent drafts that are being sent to the clients or other parties right so definitely note taking is also one of the most essential qualities for you to have as an intern and lastly uh, there's another skill required and that is putting down the research notes now this is something that is very badly or shoddily done by a lot of interns and even i've done it really badly in the past while i was an intern is that once you're given a research assignment you're not just supposed to put in 20 different articles or 20 different sources of information on that one 
uh, you know, research paper and then give it to the concerned person who's asked you for it, right? They are not going to sit there with pieces of puzzle to see, okay, whether it's leading to the right answer or not, right? So definitely there has to be some structure, there has to be clarity, there has to be proper implementation of sources wherever you've taken that information from and has to exactly address the question of the person who's asked you to do that assignment, right? If you're not able to do that, it, again, this is the most basic thing. They're not going to rely on you for something as serious as drafting or otherwise they're not going to ever take you to any kind of negotiations, etc. also, right? So I think this is all a culmination of skill set that is a culmination of the things uh, that is required for you to be to excel at a law firm. And uh, with that, we've reached the end of the video. If you have any doubts regarding uh, this video or generally about the legal careers in India, please put them in the comments. And please consider subscribing for this video to this, to this channel. Uh, it will really mean a lot to me. And yes, we are going to meet next week again with another video.